Hey, Ark of New Jersey, it's Matthew Locasio back with another weekly edition of Helpful Exercises and Health Tips for you guys. I hope you're all having a fantastic week uh, as we are now in March. Please do not let any of this behind you fool you. No, no, no. I made you guys a, pre uh, a promise at Ark that the next time you saw one of these videos, all this would be gone. Well, I'd love to give you guys all the excuses about how busy I've been and all that, but it doesn't matter. I should have found time to put my Christmas decorations away sometime between, you know, December 25th and, uh, oh, you know, March 7th. But, uh, unfortunately, I still have not. So, I do apologize to all our weekly followers who I told it'll definitely be gone, you know, before... Uh, the next video. However, I do promise by this Friday when we do our group thing that at least this part will be gone because I don't need to be teased all sec all se uh, session about the uh, the fake snow behind me when it might be 70 degrees out. So um, as always guys with all of these videos, please make sure that you feel comfortable when doing the exercises. If you don't feel comfortable, then Simply refrain from doing the exercise, uh, re-watch it, listen to the details again, or reach out to us and we're happy to assist you. We're happy to answer any questions you may have to make sure that you're doing it right. Uh, as always, info at inhometrainermat is the email, inhometrainermat.com is the website, and 908-875-3241 is the phone number. You can reach out to us with any questions you have on these videos. Any questions you have on the classes or any questions at all involving health and wellness, that's what we're here for, guys. Um, but as always, make sure you feel safe doing them. Uh, do Only do what you feel comfortable doing. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, please do not. So what we're going to focus on today, we're going to give you three great exercises for bending. Bending over, it's something we do every day in our lives, right? It's a big part of what we do. Um, in daily life, you, you bend over to pick something up, you drop something on the ground, whatever it may be, we can't, we find ourselves constantly, you know, bending over. So, um, we're going to go through three different exercises that help train the body, uh, and work the proper muscles so that we're stronger, uh, when we do have to, to pick things up off the ground so that we don't injure ourselves. And also they're just great for day to day life. You'll, they'll make you stronger. You'll have better posture, you'll feel better. Uh, so they're great in all aspects of life, not just for, you know, picking up the remote off the ground or whatever, you know, whatever you dropped. So if it's food, I do recommend, you know, the five second rule. If it goes eight, nine seconds, please refrain from eating it. Um, so the first one we're going to start with is a basic bend over what a lot of people like to call deadlifts. I don't call it that because we don't train the muscles the same exact way in this exercise as we would in a deadlift, but it is similar. So the first thing we're going to do is slightly bend the knees. We're going to get our butt back. We're going to try and stand with, with good posture here. So the shoulder blades are back um, and everything should feel aligned. And now what we're going to do is we're simply going to put our hands forward here and we're just going to bend at the waist Keep the butt poked out but tight. We're going to breathe in. Take a big breath out. On the way up, while we're breathing out naturally, our abs are going to tighten. But you want to focus on that as well. So as I go down, I breathe in through my nose. Again, slight bend at the knees, but I'm bending at the waist. Breathe out. And again, focus on tightening the abs. Uh, again, just feel like someone's maybe about to, to, you know, it's not a pleasant thought, but like someone's going to hit you in the gut. You want to tighten those stomach muscles as much as you can. Guys, when you come up to, try and pin those shoulder blades back and together as best you can. See how I'm coming up. The other thing that's good about pinning the shoulder blades back in together besides the fact that it gives you good posture 
is it lets you know you've come all the way back up. Um, that way you can't cheat yourselves. You can't pin your shoulder blades back in together if you're not all the way back up. So please try and do that every time. That way you don't end up doing one of these, which I catch clients do all the time, where they don't come all the way up. That's not good for anything. You're going to end up hurting your lower back. Um, going down, you can go as far as you feel comfortable. So however far you feel bending at the waist, that's fine. But when you come up, the key part is to bring those shoulder blades back in together. So please do make sure you're doing that. Again, bring those shoulder blades back in together. Poke the chest out. If you're poking your chest out, you're getting the shoulder blades back in together. Uh, a good number on this would honestly be anywhere between 6 to 12. So if you're just starting out and you don't feel very comfortable, you haven't done it before, I would go the 6 to 8 range. If you've done this, as we've done in, um, in, uh, in Friday classes, and you, you feel comfortable, then, then you can go for 8 to 12 at a time. Uh, stop at 12, give yourself a minute or so, and then you can do another set or two if you want to. Uh, from the side here, just so you see my angle, again, I'm going to start straight. Now as I bend at the waist, I'm going to poke the butt back, but I'm also going to tighten it. I'm keeping the head up. Breathe out, and again... Coming all the way back up, just pinning the shoulder blades back, almost exaggerating to make sure that I've come all the way back. Good. Okay. So that's our first exercise. It's the best, it's the most basic, but it's the best exercise you can do. Um, if you're primarily looking to strengthen those muscles. Now, a spin off of that, a more advanced movement, is where you take one hand at a time and you reach across your body. So for here, I'm gonna go right to left. Now, you might not be able to go as far as you did on the first one because you're coming across your body. Again, go to where you feel comfortable. So we're gonna go right to left, come up, breathe out the same, pin the shoulder back, blades back the same, everything else about it, about the way we do it is the same. We're strictly just coming across and up. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Same number, again, six to 12. You can do six each side, you know, even three each side, four each side is fine. Again, from the side here, if I'm looking this way, we're going to go across. Notice that I'm not rotating my whole body here. I'm just taking the hand. I'm coming slightly across and coming all the way back up. We don't need to exaggerate it. We don't need to rotate. We're just coming across the body. Notice that I'm not even touching my toes on this one. So again, don't worry about how far you can go naturally. You'll go further as you do it. Aim for the knee or a little bit lower, but don't worry about trying to touch your toes here. Just, again, worry about getting all the way straight back up. Good. All right, guys. One more we're going to do here uh, on the advanced motion list. So this one, 
We are going to bend, uh, but we're not going to bend forward at the waist. We're going to bend this way at the waist. So now we are making kind of an exaggerated movement, but we're not bending forward. We're bending to the side. So uh, we're going to start with the right hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you'll see my left arm coming up, my right arm sliding down. And then I'm coming straight back up. And now my left arm's sliding down towards my knee. My right arm's coming up and back up. It's still in through the nose, out through the mouth, and we're still stopping at the top. And again, when you stop in the middle, try to make sure your shoulder blades are back. That way you guarantee you're not leaning um, forward as you do this exercise because you don't want to do that. We don't want to be like this. Then we're just a weeble wobble. Knees still slightly bent. I know you can't tell I'm wearing warm-up pants, but the knees, I just actually bent them a little more. Um, really, it's not too bad to overbend, but it is bad to keep them totally straight. So just do make sure there's at least a slight bend in the knees. That way, you're not doing anything funky to the knee, which can happen if you have them locked. And again, nice and slow. We're not trying to do it like this. You know, we're not doing some crazy new dance move here. Nice, slow, and deliberate, guys. You'll feel this in your oblique muscles. Should feel like a nice stretch. One more each side. And last one. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's three different ways. Again, bending straight down, reaching over and picking something up, and again, towards the sides here, which, you know, that's called a no-look pickup on the five-second rule. That's so if you're, you know, already at four seconds, you don't have time to look. But seriously, guys, these are three exercises that are great for the core, they're great for daily life, and they're great for overall health and wellness and posture, which is a huge thing. It's something that, uh, unfortunately, a lot of us don't have good form on and it causes a lot of problems down the line so if you can practice three, these three exercises it'll go a long way to correcting that i hope you all have a wonderful week i hope to see you guys all on friday i promise this will be gone now i'm guaranteeing it i'm a man of my word i promise please believe me i'm sorry it's not gone yet uh Info at inhometrainermat.com. Inhometrainermat.com is the website. 908-875-3241. Please, if you're not sure about these or anything we've gone over or anything we do in the classes, please contact us before you do them on your own. Make sure you feel safe. Make sure you feel comfortable doing them. And when you do them, have fun doing them and know that you're doing a great thing for yourself to live a healthy life. I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a great week, Ark.